Georgia, I'm going to show you a couple of my favorite places. As a Walton County native and a lifelong resident, I'm not only your real estate expert, I'm also your neighbor. Come on, let me show you my town. Monroe, Georgia is conveniently located 35 minutes east of Atlanta between Atlanta and Athens. What's really great about Monroe is that it offers the best of both worlds. It offers small town charm with the appeal to attract high tech industries like Facebook with many really cool and unique eateries and local businesses. Our first stop is visiting my friend Stephanie Cannon at the Story Shop. talking with Stephanie Cannon, who has a really fun title. You are the designer and director of Whimsy. Stephanie, tell us a little bit about your inspiration for this store. So the original idea for the story shop actually came from the mind of Melissa Music. She's the owner of the shop. She wanted to open a bookstore that would encourage kids and their families to read together. And so I just had the fun job of taking that incredible idea and make it a tangible product. Well, I was really excited earlier this year when I opened my issue of Country Living Magazine and I saw that you and the owner, Melissa Music, were named as Country Living Magazine's two of the 100 most creative people in the country. Tell me about that. How did that feel? No, it was really, really exciting personally for both of us, but also just that the store would get recognized and that people would see value in what's happening here in our town. I have a young daughter. It's one of her favorite places to frequent. Tell us if somebody's here for the first time, what they can expect, what can they experience here at the Story Shop? More than anything, what we hope is that when people walk in, adults are reminded of the joy and wonder of their childhood and that children are just inspired to dig into beautiful, well-written books. You mentioned that it was obviously a local independent bookstore. When you were getting things for the store and sourcing those items, it was important for you to stay local, and especially with those vendors. Tell us a little bit about that. Anything that was made for the shop was made by mostly local women. Our carpentry was done by a local lady. All of our signage was done by a local lady. The hand lettering that you see throughout the store was done by a local person. So Stephanie, the Story Shop is definitely one of our favorite places. Tell us what is one of your favorite parts about the Story Shop. One of those things is actually the letters that hang from the ceiling when you first walk in. Um, there are just a couple that are in color and each of the colors represents the first name of mine and Melissa's children. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. And if you're ever in the area, support your local bookstore. Come by and see the Story Shop, which will be sure not to disappoint and offer a very very unique experience. The next stop is to visit another one of my friends, Megan Sisk. She's the owner of Saltbox Lane, a wonderful home furnishings boutique. owner, Megan. Tell us a little bit about the inspiration for this store. We just love the town and we just saw a need for a store with just a little bit of everything for your home, lighting, furniture, small gifts, and so we just kind of went from there. And one of the things I love about it is that you're constantly changing up the store. Everything is, you know, different. You're adding pieces. You can come in for a unique gift. Is it just your taste? Or are you thinking about kind of the taste for the area? We just wanted it to feel like you were walking into your home. So like we set it up to where you walk in and you have an eating space and a living space and bedroom space. So we just kind of start with a couple inspiration pieces. It'll always throw us for a loop if somebody buys something and so then we're always we on our the display. Exactly. One of the other things that I know that you offer is design services. So we do a two hour in home consultation. We have a fee for that and then we don't really charge for our time to pick stuff out. Um, we just have an installation fee for bringing all the furniture out and setting it up. What's one of the th your favorite things about being a small business owner downtown Monroe? Well, of course you worry opening up a store, people are still going to want to shop at the big box stores, which I do it too, but um, we just wanted a place where somebody could go to dinner and then come here, grab a gift, or like you said, if they want to buy like something bigger for their home, sofa, dining table, we just wanted to kind of offer that locally. If you're in the area, please stop by at Saltbox Lane.
video. If you want to learn more about Monroe, Georgia or surrounding areas, contact the Print Script. Okay, I'm talking to the camera. The children's bookstore. Sorry. You are the creative director. Okay, sorry. It's too cold, my mouth is You need to go away. If I ever do like a video talking, I'm like, you have to go outside. Look at the camera.